Hello, AHS. I'm Jackson Stoker. And I'm Calvin Glisson. Welcome to Tuesday's edition of Tiger TV. Let's take a look at today's announcements. Announcement. AHS Cafeteria is serving free breakfast, free lunches to all students through December 31st, for sure. Maybe past that. But come and buy and get it. We just scan your card. That's all it is. National Technical Honor Society. Were you invited to join NTHS last year? Please see Ms. Julie Eccles or Ms. Jaquie Middleton to make sure you are on the remind and getting messages. Picture Makeup Day will be Monday, September 14th. Teachers should check the Picture Day schedule to determine which students and when those students should leave class. The virtual college fair information is provided on the following slides. Pay close attention to the time, dates, and websites in order to register in time. For the National English Honor Society, applications will be accepted September 7th through the 18th. Only seniors can apply for this, and you can find the application on Schoology using the following code. Students must have a 3.5 GPA and a 3.75 English GPA. See the following teachers for any questions. Host will sponsor Give Cancer the Boot on Thursday, October 15th. Pay $1 to wear a cowboy hat and t-shirts cost $10. All proceeds will go to the American Cancer Society. ACE, Afro-Cultural Education Club. Students who are interested in learning more about ACE should attend an informational meeting Thursday, September 17th in the AHS SCOLA from 3.45 to 4.30 p.m. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Gentry. All right, Auburn High, next week it's time for you to show your spirit. It's Beat Jefferson Davis Week. Monday, we have Twin Day. Tuesday is Toga Day for seniors and My Future Career Day for juniors and sophomores. Wednesday is Celebrity Day. Thursday is Out of This World Day. And Friday is the Big Game Day. I'm Patrick Bingham here with Hannah Arnall, our class of 2023, one of the Homecoming Court nominees. So Hannah, what does being on Homecoming Court this year mean to you? Um, being voted by my peers on Homecoming Court means a lot to me, and I'm really excited that I got chosen to represent the sophomore class. Okay, and what is one of your messages to all of the students here at Auburn High School during these just crazy and challenging times? Um, I would say just to be positive and to make the most out of this year and not let it slip away. We're here with one of the class of 2023 Homecoming Court um, nominees, Rosemary Parker. Rosemary, what does being on Homecoming Court mean to you? Um, I am thankful to have the opportunity to represent my grade and be a role model for the people in my class. And I'm just thankful to have the opportunity. Okay, and um, what is your message to all the students here at Auburn High School during these just crazy and challenging times that we're currently in? Um, my message to people during this challenging time is to have a good attitude about the things going on and find things in your life to be thankful for because, and also to have people in your life that support and encourage you and just be kind to people because you never know when you might make somebody's day. Okay, thank you. So we're here with Tate Pearson, one of the nominees for Class of 2023 for the Auburn High School um, Homecoming Court. So what does being on Homecoming Court mean to you? Being on Homecoming Court is such an honor, and it also teaches me how to step out of your comfort zone. And what is your message um, during these challenging and crazy times we're in to the whole student body here at Auburn High School? Just to stay positive and keep wearing your mask and hope for the best. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Awesome job. Let's go to Claire's Corner. Hey, and welcome to Claire's Corner, where I provide easy or cool things to do around your house or just when you're bored. Today we're back with another mug food because they're super easy and it's an excuse for me to trash the kitchen and say it's for school. I'm going to show you how to make pizza in a mug. You will need 
flour, salt, baking powder, baking soda, milk, olive oil, cheese of your choice, and pizza sauce. First, take your mug that your cat is particularly interested in, add four tablespoons of flour. Next, add 1 8 teaspoons baking powder and 1 16th teaspoon baking soda. Add 1 8 teaspoon salt. Add 3 tablespoons of milk. Then add 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Stir your mixture. Add as much cheese and pizza sauce as you would like. Put it in the microwave for about a minute and 30 seconds. And you're done! It doesn't really taste like pizza, but it's really good and really, really easy to do. See you next Tuesday! Thank you, Claire! Justin is up next with the birthday wheel. We're back with birthdays and shout out to... Happy birthday to you! On this day in history, four young black girls, Denise McNair, Carol Robinson, Addie Collins, and Cynthia Wesley, were killed in the bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church. The bombers were identified as Bobby Frank, Cherry Thomas Blanton, Herman Cash, and Robert Chambliss. On this day in history, the famous boxer Muhammad Ali defeated Leon Spinks to win his third heavyweight boxing title. Hello, and welcome to Pandemic Binges. Today, we'll be looking at the Umbrella Academy. The plot revolves around a group of dysfunctional adopted superhero siblings who reunite to solve the mystery of their father's death and an impending apocalypse. I'll be honest, this isn't one I've personally seen, but if you're a fan of the darker side of superhero stories, and also like comedic stories as well, Apparently, from what my classmates say, this is a good one to check out. Thank you all so much for watching today's news. Keep your masks on and your heads high.